Hello everyone and welcome. If you're hearing background laughing and noises and happy noises, uh, my kids are being sprayed with water. <laughs> yeah, uh, my wife is pressure washing something and the spray is all over the place. And my kids are really enjoying it. So, uh, welcome! I'm back looking at something for the outside as you can clearly tell. No more inside job this time. And I'm going to make a solar powered heating element for water. Wow, there's, that's a lot of wind. <laughs> and I just got a massive dose of spray from my wife. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like being at the seaside. So. Uh, I'm gonna make a solar powered water heater for uh, the roof of the outdoor shower that's going to power, that's going to, well, power, that's going to feed uh, the shower and the outdoor uh, sinks, uh, kitchen sinks and bathroom sinks. And without further ado, let's get to work. First up, um, the base for the piping. I'm just gonna use regular pipe and just make a coil. I didn't explain it, did I? Uh, but I, I got a little ahead of myself. I'm going to make a base out of plywood and uh, I don't know what it's called. Anyway, uh, out of plywood and some uh, reinforcements. And on top of that, I'm going to just coil some pipe. The chipper was gonna sit in the sun and heat up. If you enjoyed this sort of DIY, uh -huh. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the share button with a friend. All right, let's get to work. First one, I have the underside of the very first board done. Now I'm going to do the next board and the third board. Then I will come with the supports for uh, the coil. And that's it. It's simple. I think it's a little too big. It may be a little too big for the amount of uh, for the amount of pipe that I have. I'm gonna go and enter my. I need to browse, so I'm gonna use the phone. I wanna check out a, a calculator and see if I can do uh, sort of like to call. I need to do some measurements before I continue because, um, yeah. It, um, 
Something's not right. Be right back. All right, I calculated and I placed a spiral that is half what I have right now to more attached. And if I just add two of those, I have more than I have pipe. I have more uh, surface than I have pipe. So I'm gonna try and do it like that. And hopefully I will just cut off the legs and be done with it. I don't like the lighting. Let's see if I can. I think that's a little bit better. I think you can see that. All right. Oh, we're gonna stop right here. Uh, on this side. This is the piping that I chose for the coil. Uh, it's a bit bigger than the one that I use for my pipes. I chose this one because I also calculated the volume that will be inside. I am sort of limited by how much I want to, uh, how much weight I want to put up on the This is the pipe I chose for the coil. It is a bit bigger than the ones that I used uh, for the plumbing throughout the house. Uh, I have for the house and the outside I used 20 millimeter uh, there with the pipe. This one's 25. I chose this because I wanted to have as much volume while still limiting the amount of weight. This came out to have roughly 90 liters of hot water in it so i can live with that that's plenty of hot water for washing your hands and doing dishes and taking a shower once in a while and bear in mind that this one is going to keep hot and as cold water comes in it's also going to heat up uh, a little bit all right let's see how this thing is going to work
the idea is sound it works it's fine it's perfect good thing i have that extra piece of uh board you know why i've already reached the point i still have plenty of material to go with plenty of, uh, room to bend it but it's gotten to the point where if it bends it's going to choke so uh, it's good everything is fine i just have to pull it all up out put the third board in and do the coil around the entire three piece board it's definitely a must good thing i got the big board
comes uh, another test to see if I can actually lift this damn thing. Okay. <laughs> It is quite heavy, and I'm going to use this to buy a package. I shifted it over there. Let's see if I can get you a really good position. The sink is currently not in use, so I can easily use the entire corner. Ah, perfect. Hey. What will, uh, will this allow me? It will allow me to work on it vertically.
As you can see, the coil is done. There's going to be roughly 90 liters of water in this thing when it's full. A few things are needed to be done before I can mount it up there. One is for me to make a hole right here for the exit of the coil to uh, come out. Uh, actually, three things. Uh, reinforced because I still have four more clamps that I can use wherever I feel. And the final step, painted black. <laughs> uh, I need to paint it black uh, because the wood bits are going to be subject to rain and I want to protect them as much as possible. While it's also going to be in air and can dry off immediately, uh, I, I still want to give it as much protection as I can. I already have everything I need and I'm just going to spray it basically all over and underneath. Ideally, I should have... Ah, oh, man. I have to take this thing down again or not because I can be smart about it because I can be smart about it I can take it down in sections and paint underneath it because I have a spray gun I'm smarter than the average bear alright ah let's get to drilling the hole I want to have to cut as little as possible with the um, Endure saw, so I'm just going to drill a big hole with this thing. Next up, I have to put uh, two 90 degree angles because that one's 25 and I need to connect it to a 20. Uh, so I have to do this first. And in order for me to do that, first I need to uh, seal this with some Teflon tape. I don't even need to use the jigsaw anymore. It's nothing that handles everything. Cool. Cool. Okay, uh, hole is in. That is there. We're almost ready to start painting. But before I start painting it, I want to flip it over and attach the hose that is going to come out of there that's going to attach to the uh, rest of the thing and in order for me to do that uh hold on i need to check first of all i need to see where this thing will end up so let's see time to attach the hose going uh, that will go on the other side and before i do that uh, for, for me to do that we need to um, hold on, there's no any less. Now I remember. Good thing I cleaned this thing because now I have to put uh -huh.
Okay, I think I'm finally ready to paint. I've done all of the piping. I've added all the reinforcements. I really, really can't think of anything else to do to this project. Other than, of course, putting it up there. I can't put it up there until I paint it because uh, it would be very, very difficult for me to paint it whilst it's up there. So it needs to be done down here. There is one thing, because I don't want to move it from this position, there's one thing I need to do before I can literally start painting and that is clean up underneath it because I don't want to um, uh, get anything dirty. So let me just do, let me do just that. I have to clean the paint gun and then I'm gonna start painting. But in order to save battery, who cares about cleaning a paint gun? Okay, I am finally ready to uh, paint the thingy, the coils. I'm gonna start the back and then I will do the actual sun facing side. I went as heavy as I could on, uh, I wanted it to be as protected as possible and I chose the perfect color because it absorbs uh, light and it will heat up even more, even on the back side because why would I use different things? Alright, uh, I already used up uh, one um, jar of this thing so I have to fill it up again.
one side is done, I have to wait a few minutes until it um, dries a bit, flip it around and move the other side. So I'll see you in a few. I flipped it and now it's time to paint this it's side. I ran out of material again.
right. Ah. It's done. Well, uh, well, it's not done. It's not mounted on anything, but it's done. It's assembled and ready to be uh, placed there. But it's time to call it quits for today. I'm incredibly tired and painting that thing really takes it out of you, especially since I can't wear my glasses because I don't want to mess them up. I tried using uh, protective, uh, especially that, but you cut in like 30 seconds, you cannot see through them and it's over. All right, uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, and want to see this thing in action, subscribe. If you can't wait to see me try to hold that thing up on the roof, hit the like button. And just in case, share it to the friend. I'm trying to get 500 subs. All right, uh, that's it for today. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.